Nap Kitty or whatever the fuck your name is. You're creepy. Okay. So, we had just solved this room over here. And the kid was like, GG, go get a key. Catnap, yes, thank you. Oh. Ha! Breaking the law, breaking the law. Oh no, that's where you're supposed to go. Okay. Wait, did I already go up here? Okay, well, it's dark. So, um, yeah, we, we are trying to get the suspicious red gas from this thing, which it was originally in, to this thing on the left. And now it's in the middle thing. And we have a not at all suspicious child Ollie giving us instructions how to do that. Oh, okay, that's closed. That's what that is. Um, there haven't been any jump scares so far, so I'm feeling really anxious about it. Okay, we are loading our P. Oh good, everything's off. God damn it. Thanks, Dungey. Okay. Oh, it's saving. That's great. So we got our key from in here last time. There's our key. I forgot where I'm supposed to use this. Home sweet home. That's where. Okay. Jump scares? They would never. So part of the reason I was able to play through Poppy Playtime chapters 1 and 2 is I watched Insim play it first. Um, I'm going to guess Home Sweet Home's just up here. Please? Uh, so I knew like, okay, there's... I kind of knew where some of the jump scares were, but also um, I knew that it wasn't too jump scare heavy. And... You know, obviously I've never seen anyone play this. Oh good, this area is creepy as fuck. Excellent. Okay, that's the playhouse. You mean the central area is creepy as fuck or home sweet home's creepy as fuck? Oh, that's cool. I want a dinosaur light. T, let's get a dinosaur light. I'm guessing this is home sweet home. So we also learned last time that uh, this was an orphanage. Oh, fuck. Close. It looks like a labyrinthine area. Mm. Uh -huh. OK, we're loading. It's fine. It's fine. Also, if you guys want to contribute to the scary bullshit, uh, SFX, exclamation point SFX, you too. Puppet on the ceiling. Look, it's fine. There's This is normal at this point. There have been so many hanging puppets. It's like, eh, they're all... Sure, let's just go through that. Um, yeah, that's that's normal. Um, okay, the hissing just scared me. Did I? The door I just came through no longer exists. So that's fine. Ooh, okay. It's a pee for Poppy. Oh, Ollie. Ollie, though, it, Ollie's not a little boy. Ollie's another toy. I can't slap anything with my arms. I don't have arms anymore. Um, Ollie said that Poppy was sorry for derailing my train to keep me here. Not as sorry as I am. This is fine. There's nothing that's going to go wrong here. Nothing is going to go wrong.
Poppy and happy and fun way was it done? Okay. What? Happy and fun way was it done? Alright, well... Oh, there's a mommy mirror. Ew. It's happy fun time, guess. It's all fine. None of these doors is gonna burst open. Tragic news this morning as of 9.45 a.m. Local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. I'm Organs, as disturbed. Well as bones from the skeletal structure were reported missing from the body. It is unknown at this time whether this extraction was, in fact, the cause of death. Ooh! That's almost worse. All right, well, uh, left wall strats. I don't know. That looks lighter, but we're going to go left. This, morning, this feels a lot like Madison. Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, nope. It's sickening. Feels more like Elliot Madison. Elliot was a great man. And those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clear his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> I go this way, I go that way. Okay, we're just walking off. Okay. A clap and a half to you. We'll miss you. Recent events, no. Okay, left wall strats. This keeps getting worse. Also, I'm running and nothing's happening. Why is the phone ringing? There's a game theory reference? Is that a channel? Oh, this ringing is in my head. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. What? Oh, yeah! The clap and half thing. Okay. Also, that's awful. Uh. Thanks, Ollie, for luring me there just to tell me I need Despite to run. Of innocence, okay. I'm... I don't know. Oh, he would often return to his home in strange hours of the night and depart again before sunrise. Who just told me not to move? Can I move yet? The creator is retiring from hosting the channel and they did a lot of theories on Poppy, so- Oh, nice! Alright, back to run. Fuck! Me! Uh... I thought that was someone doing a sound command. Guilt haunts you. Wait, are we Elliot? What's his face? I don't think. Was that Huggy? I'm going in a circle. Okay. Oh, good. It's not a circle anymore. Oh, I don't like that. I'm sweating, you guys. T, thanks for the clip. There's a computer over there. 
There's also sound. Can I? Let me in! Let me in! Not being able to, like, compulsively slap things is making me really, really uncomfortable. Yeah, I thought the door knocking was someone in chat doing a command, Get and it was not. Get up. Get up. I'm up. Get up. Okay, bye. You know, if there's anything we've learned from games like this, it is yeah, not Huggy. Huggy doesn't have a tail. I think it's Catnap. And this game wants me to go where I don't want to go, so I'm gonna go there. Okay, I guess I'm going the other way. Am I just straight up going backwards now? This looks new. Why am I so short? It's so dark! Remember kids, this was an orphanage! There is no safety here. I just read safety here and I was like, ooh, and then that's that's not it. Happy and fun. Why was it done? There's <laughs> Okay, well at least we get a video now. Huggy, can you come back? I miss you. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. Oh We're God. certain that in the days to come, I'm you'll sweating. find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds oh, the of science are continuously pushed. Or join the counselors of Playcare, whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience yes, cat has my tongue. Getting the better of you. Oh. May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors. I've lost control each of the camera. Hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Yes, Perhaps the face definitely changed. From a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. Watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Welcome home. Excuse me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Where am I going? Okay. I can't run backwards! Oh, I did want Huggy. It is... At this point, it's a relief to know what's about to fuck me up. Oh. Was that... Was that intentional? What just creaked... Okay, we got a mommy doll. Hey, I think we had a scripted death, fam. Oh good, we got puzzles now. Okay, oh, that's a 
half a flower. Can we close this door? I'd like to close, please. I'd also like my flashlight to stop fucking up. See, Pale, we got even more hung dolls and shit. So, like, at this point, I am feeling like, um, what? Oh, God, give me, okay. So, we, we have gas. I think we're getting gassed. I, there's so much shit going on in this chapter three. It is so cool. So we have this weird like Bioshock biome. We have the Madison running through the hallway and you're going to get fucked vibes. Um, we've got gas. Like, and I mean, not, not just farting, right? But like if we've got an unreliable narrator situation. What the fuck is actually happening? Who knows? I don't know. We've got all these little ghost children here, which really, you all could fuck off, please. That would be great. Oh! Oh, what's 